Hey guys, I'm Rhonda Nickerson and on today's tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to make this beautiful bunny. It looks like an Easter basket to me, but I'm going to be teaching you how to make this and I'm really, really excited to show you. So let's talk about the supplies. All right, guys, let's talk about the supplies and the tools that we're going to use for this project. Um, we're going to use these three ribbon here. These are all 1.5. These larger ones here are from Sam's and Sam's has some awesome ribbons. If you guys need to practice your bows, Sam have 50 yard ribbons for $8. So make sure to go over to Sam's Club and get you some and you can even order it online as well. And this one here is this green one here. This is a jelly ribbon and this one is from um, Risa Joy. All right, I'm gonna use this bunny here. I actually got this bunny for free because when I went to uh, pick up my uh, flocked bunnies, y'all know the flocked bunnies are really popular from Walmart. The ear on my yellow bunny was broken. So they gave me this one for free because the ear was broken. We're also going to use, I am not sure what size this is, but here, I can put it down here. This is, I think it's, it's a 12 inch, this 12 inch work frame. We sold these at our store before we closed the warehouse. So these are from our store. And then we're gonna use these eggs here. This is actually an egg um, um, garland. And y'all, I've been having these for years. As you guys know, at the end of the season, Hobby Lobby always puts their stuff at 90% or whatever it is, the highest that it was. And I go and stock up, or I used to anyway, before I had the store. So that's how long I've been having these. So once we moved from the store, I saw all of the stuff that I still had left. And so I am going to be using these. I have three um, sets of the garlands, but I don't think that I'll need all those. I just brought them just in case going to use some flowers and greenery probably like when I'm doing something I always like to gather the things that I may use and have them on hand just in case so I may use the flowers I may not we'll see once I do the bow and everything and um see if we're going to use them I probably will though so it can look like she's sitting on a little garden or something like that down here at the bottom in the boat inside the bow, okay? So the tools, and uh, you're gonna need a zip tie, maybe more than one. You're gonna need scissors, wire cutters, if you're going to use uh, the flowers in the greenery. You're also going to need a glue gun and glue sticks. I am going to put in the description our Amazon storefront store that we have, that you guys can get all of these tools there. I'll have this. This works really, really well. My mom actually bought this for me and it cuts very, very well. I love the way it cuts straight through. Um, I was doing a project with the circle last night and I had put a whole bunch of flowers together and it cut right through there. You had to put a little pressure, but not much. So it's a very good wire cutter for sure. And this glue gun is amazing. It comes with different tips. I'm gonna really love this for mom season. All right, all right, so let me get everything cleaned up and then we will be right back. We'll start the project. All right, be right back. All right, guys, so we're going to take the pink ribbon. This is a 50 yard roll from Sam's Club and we're going to start wrapping this around. So I'm just gonna take some glue and put it there and just wrap that around to get it started. All right, so I thought the easiest way to do this is to either cut and then just hope you have enough. So this one's starting off because it has that glue on there. I'm just going to double that one and then I'm just going to keep going around, okay? So you can either cut your ribbon or you can just take it through however you want to do it, okay? Just making sure that you're keeping it facing the same way. And then you're going to just wrap this all the way around. If you want to do it a couple of times where it's already going through, then you can. That kind of is probably easier and you know you can get it laying right if you just do it one at a time. All right, so I'm doing it and I'm just pulling as I go. And this is just going to give us something to actually glue the eggs on to make it easier for it, for it to lay instead of gluing it on here. 
um, sticking this to metal, it probably won't last as long as to sticking it onto some fabric, okay? So I would recommend doing this and not just um, gluing it to your, and plus you'll have some coverage too. Like when you can maybe see through the eggs, you'll have some coverage. You can also use moss to go in between each piece and I'll show you guys that as well. Uh-oh, got color around. All right, so you're just going to continue just taking this through and wrapping it around as you go, okay? And you're going to cover, make sure to cover the whole wreath form. So I did end up cutting it. It is easier to uh, cut it. I would say cutting a cut about maybe about three yards just in case because you can off if you have some extra. If it's not that much, you can just throw it away. Or but if you have um, a lot extra, you can actually use it in a bow or something else. But it it was a little bit easier just cutting it off. All right. So now we have this whole thing wrapped. All right. So now what we're going to do. I'm just going to take it and I want it because it is going to be covered um, by the eggs up front. That will make your back look neat and you won't have any glue or anything on the back of it. So the eggs are going to go here in the front, right? So you can put this here so that the eggs will cover the ugly part, okay? I'm just putting some glue and laying it down. All right. So with your with your design, you can choose um, how you want to lay your eggs. Um, what you want to do too is you want to get your bunny where your bunny's going to go as well and you can also use this to cover up that part as well because if you put those eggs he's going to kind of be say for instance you put it there it's going you don't really need to put you can just start your eggs after he is on there so it's up to you and how you actually want to do it I like to do extra security on stuff, so I'm actually going to wire the bunny in there. I'm just making small little snips so that it won't, um, just like that. If you guys can see, I made two little snips and then I just put this through there, okay? So, and what you can do with this as well, um, you can go in and just put another piece of um, ribbon behind that to hide this in the back, okay? Because you do need to take this through. So I'm just gonna twist this, give that a little twist. And then I'm going to cover up the ugly part that, um, I'm gonna see if this will just stick through here. And it does, it just goes through. It gives a little resistance, but I think it's kind of doubled right there. So let me see what it's doing. It had to go through two pieces. Let's see. It, it's a little hook on there and it got um, caught. So I'm gonna give it a little snip at an angle to make it easier to go through here. There we go. And like I said, we can go in and we can put another piece of um, 
another piece of wire. I mean, ribbon, excuse me. Another piece of ribbon to hide it. Ah, well, we wouldn't have so much to have to go through. And we can just glue his little bottom to the bottom of it. All right. So I'm just twisting this here in the back. And like I said, it's probably best if I had some white instead of having this green. It's probably best. But you know what else we have to do? We have to add a hanger as well. So it's all good so i'm not gonna glue his little bottom to it until i'm done but this is what we have this is how it looks in the back and then it's going to need a hanger too so we'll figure that out as we go no worries i'm just cutting that excess uh, wire off and then so i will be gluing this bottom part i will be gluing it down to here to make her stay you could also I don't know how that would actually work, putting her on there before you even put the ribbon. That may even work better, but putting, getting the ribbon around here, if you have her on there would be difficult. So I would definitely probably say, but it's already looking cute. Look how cute it looks. Already looking good. All right. So now that we have that there, we know, I'm gonna give her a little bow too in her hair. We know what she will be and we won't have to put eggs in that area okay so this is going to be up to you and i do believe that they do have these eggs still at hobby lobby maybe i'm not sure i think we're just gonna have to do two layers especially because that pink is there okay i was thinking that we were gonna have to do three layers because of it not being, when it wasn't wrapped, it looked like we were gonna have to do four layers. I'm thinking we're gonna be good. We're doing two layers. Yeah. Well, we'll see once we get it on there. Either way, yeah, I think two layers will be good. All right, so we wanna make sure that we're being neat. I guess we can go right behind her head. I'm gonna leave it. If I want to add an egg there, I'll just leave enough room for us to be to add an egg. Okay, so you can either leave it on the um, the string and go around, or you can take it off. You also can do it this way, where you kind of stagger the eggs. Oh, y'all can't see that. Sorry, where you stagger the eggs this way. But I like going around this way and I asked mom too and she liked it this way as well okay so what you want to do is you just want to make sure that you're being really really neat with the glue you don't want to have glue stains and stuff which I said like I told you you can um and you can use E6002 or Gorilla Glue as well you don't want to uh, have where your glue stains are showing, but like I said too, you can go in and you can put um, moss to hide it. All right, so we're just gonna take this. I need to go to Hobby Lobby, not to buy anything, but just to see what they have, because I have all this old stuff. So hopefully they have these or have something that you guys can use. All right, you just want to place your hand here and make sure that everything is sticking before you move on to the next ones, okay? Just make sure that they're sticking good. All right, and you're just going to put glue as you go and put enough to where, it, where it'll stick, okay? All right, so as you're going, you're just going to hold down. I would say because you have two hands, I would do two at a time. Put enough glue for two and then move your way around, okay? And it seems to be sticking really, really well. To the wire, it would not stick. I definitely recommend putting the, um, the ribbon. 
All right, and we're just gonna keep on going around. And I did keep them together on the string that it is already on. You don't have to. And like I said, if you choose to take yours and stagger them the other way, then that's fine as well. Whatever floats your boat, whatever you like. I'm even thinking that putting that moss in there would make it even more Oh, I forgot not to put them here, but that's okay. So when I go in the inside, because I'm going to put a bow, I shouldn't have put these right here, but it's okay. It's already on here. Once it sticks, I can go in and cut it out. That's all good. I wasn't thinking about that. I really don't want to have to cut it. I'm, I could just put the eggs on top. I mean, the bow on top of the eggs. Cause I like it being on the string. So when I'm doing it, I'm making sure that I'm pulling the eggs on the string, making sure that the, the eggs are together. It's so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. So you can always, I forget, I need to get a, um, if you can feel something loose, just go in there and put a little bit more glue. This is just too cute, I love it. I love it already. All right, guys, so when I cut this um, last one off, I left this really long. You can go in and you can pull, just go ahead and pull the string out once it's together. So if you are like me and you don't like your eggs to be close together, then you can um, do them one at a time. You can cut them off, All right? So you can take it and then you can start placing it. Because if I place this together, the two pink eggs are going to be close together. And I don't like that. So if you want it, if you want, if you don't care about that, then you can leave the string on. If you do care about that, like me, it really doesn't matter. But hey, then you'll have to do them. You can't really, I guess you could do two at a time. But oh, hold on. Let me turn that around so the eggs can be going the same way. I guess it doesn't matter. So, I'm able to, by doing it this way, I'm able to uh, change it up where nothing will have to be close to each other, the colors of the eggs. So, you can see both ways how I'm doing it. And doing it this way, then you know too. Let's see. You just go mix it up and just not get any colors close to each other. Mm -mm. And then we'll do a white. Yep, so that'll work. And then we'll keep the same uh, color pattern. So if that makes sense, if I kept it on there, they would be mixed up, but the pink ones would be right next to each other all right so just make sure that they're drying as you go get a little extra push and i'm going to have to loosen him up a little bit to bring him down some so that i'll be able to glue his little bottom to here as well okay and i'm just taking it putting enough glue and laying it right next to the other one, okay? 
We're just going around. So this would be okay. Let me see something. Yeah, you don't have to just do like that. At least when I was doing it before, this pink one was right at it. But at least it's kind of off a little bit. It's still a little close. I was trying to think of which one I could get. If I change that pink, I know it's probably getting glued. No, that's still the same thing. Yeah, I know it don't matter, y'all. I'm just like that. I'm just a little extra special. But at least it's not right on each other. And then we'll just continue to go around. All right, guys. So now what we're going to do, I mean, we may not even, I, I'm going to add a bow, but we may not even need a bow. With it sitting up, with all the weight on it, I didn't have to move this. I think he just kind of, or uh, he or she, just kind of sits down on there. So I'm just going to actually just take some glue, make sure that it is positioned in the right place. I'm just gonna take some glue. <clears throat> And where it is touching, I'm going to place some glue. So, and that she will stick to it, All right? And then we'll just kind of sit here and hold it. So we got her glued down really, really good. If you guys can see here where I have the moss, if you wanted to make it look a little bit more springy, then you definitely can do this. So you'll just take some moss. It's messy though. That's the only thing about it. I keep forgetting to get a dang on um, um, extension cord. So you just put a little glue, kind of, along the edges of the, and then you're just kind of filling in the holes. You can just go around and do, uh -oh. And I'm just taking a little pinch. I'm making sure to get some glue on the eggs so that it will stick, okay? So see how that looks? So it's up to you and how you want yours to look, but you can do that. I am not sure, this might be Dollar Tree moss. I have no idea. I just have some moss that, all right. And you'll just continue to go around and fill in everywhere. So see how this one is a little loose? I'm gonna go in and just put some glue underneath there to give it some added um, hold. And make sure if you are selling this, then you do make sure that all of yours are, that it's sticking really good, okay? So I'm gonna go around and finish the moss and then we'll come on and um, make the bow, all right? All right, guys, so we're going to get ready to make the bow. And this is how it looks. Super cute with putting the moss. If you want to, you can add moss all over. You can add it, add it in the inside. You can add it on the outside if you want to, too, if you have a lot that you need to cover up. I might go in and do that because I really like the look of it. But right now, for time's sake, and I'm trying to get this done uh, before a certain time, I'm going to go ahead and uh, make the bow for this, okay? But I love the way that the moss makes it look, for sure. All right. 
So I'm going to leave some long tails. I don't know if I'll use all of it. I'm going to use 15 inches. Will I use it all? I don't know. But I'd rather leave it long than short. So what you're going to do is you're going to, this is the Rhonda's Creative Station. If you want to get you one, you can go over to our website, www.rondascreativecorner.com and get it there. Or you can use the Easy Bow Maker or the, um, the one that the, um, Probo the hand has. You can use that one as, as well. Okay. So, um, oh, mama finna go get Kalila. Lord, I forgot. All right. So, what you want to do is you're going to take it. This is a 15 inch tail. And you're just going to take it and then you're going to put it down and you're going to have uh, the ugly side up. So, with the tail, it's going to go down. You're going to have pretty side up. And when you take it in here, just going to twist it and you're going to have ugly side up okay so what we're going to do is i'm going to do about six inch loops and i'm doing this six inch loops without it flattened down it's hitting right at six and i still have a nice little um poof all right right there all right i'm gonna do the same thing on this side So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this up and see if this is too big for this wreath. I think that it's a little, I was just looking at it right there. So I'm just gonna go a little bit smaller. Just gonna go a little bit smaller. And it's really okay to change your mind when you're making a bow. I always like to, I'm thinking five is gonna be the best. Five inches. But yeah, it's okay to change your mind. All right, I'm gonna pull the tail down. I'm doing two loops on each side. And I'm just cutting the tail here. All right. Like I said, I'm probably going to cut the tail off. If this is a 10 yard roll, then you can kind of, you know, you don't have to leave it so long. But because this is the Sam's ribbon and this is uh, 50 yards, I just leave them long just in case I want them to be longer. Okay. Now we're going to take the pink. We're going to do the same thing. Take it down. All I did was kind of just look here to see how long I wanted my tail to be and put it the same size. I'm gonna pull you some slack. I'm gonna do four inches. And all you have to do is just kind of spread the um, loops at the bottom apart. So that you can see your numbers and then when you're going again then you can just see here if you want to you could just take your finger in there and that way you'll know that it's the same size all right so when you're done and you're not making any more loops you do not turn your ribbon you just place it down inside I'm gonna put my finger there and make sure that that's the same size. You'll just take it inside and just bring it down. You're not twisting it to make it go to the ugly side because you are not doing another loop, okay? I wish I had some baby blue. Let's see y'all. I wish I had some smaller baby blue. Cause I have these to add with that baby blue in there. Let me see. I'm thinking because this is a solid here that I will just use the striped, even though it's more of a silky ribbon, but I want to bring that baby blue in there. I didn't even think about that. And then we'll have the, uh, the um, jelly ribbon. It's gonna go. I'm just going in. I just looked here and I'm just going in. I did not measure or anything, but it's looking like it's about three and a half inches. So we did uh, five, 
four, and then three and a half. So as you guys saw, I'm making another loop. So I am turning it ugly side up. So I made, I took it down, made a loop, twisting it up because I am making another loop, okay? So I'm gonna go here, put my finger in there to see if it's the same size, and then taking it down and twisting up. So that is the key. When you're making another loop, you're going to make sure to twist your ribbon to have ugly side up, okay? All right, so now I'm not making another loop, so I'm not twisting it and I'm leaving pretty side up. Okay, and cutting it there. All right, I'm going to add the jelly ribbon. I haven't used jelly ribbon in so long. Um, the time that I bought that, they actually had it on sale. So I was like, let me get some because it is springtime. All right, so I'm going to twist that. And I don't want this to take over everything, so I'm just gonna do one loop, okay? Just gonna do one loop, and I'm gonna do it about the same size as that one, so it'll be about three and a half, okay? thick bow and you know what I forgot dang it I forgot to put my flowers in but I could probably go in I'm not gonna distract it I'm gonna go ahead and do it so this is what you need it's a zip tie for for your bow so you're just gonna make sure to lift all of it up and you can put this down beforehand to make sure that you don't miss any of your ribbon okay so we're not going to pull it all the way. All right, I'm just going to lift it up here. All right, and I'm going to move this over. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take it. We're going to make sure that we put the zip tie in the center of our bow. We're gonna make sure that all of our loops are the way that we want them. All of our tails are the way that we want them. That's super cute, all right? So then I'm thinking that I am just going to actually just glue this on here. Do I like doing that? Not really, but there's really no way. So I'm putting a pink um, uh, pipe cleaner and then I'm pulling it tight, all right? This is really, really powerful, that green, so I might should have put that back in the back, but it's okay. Just saying, do you see me? Do you see me? <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. All right, so I'll make sure that I pull this as tight as I can. And then we're gonna clip that off. And then we're going to, because I have this pink left over from cutting it, I'm not gonna waste it. I'm gonna use as much of it as I can. And we're gonna use this as our center, okay? We're gonna use that pink as our center. And all I'm doing is just tying this. I tie it and then I tie it in a knot one time. Just make sure I'm pulling that tight and then I'll cut the excess off. All right. All 
I was trying to see had did I leave a gap? <laughs> yeah, I think it is. Let's see if this gonna do what it do, y'all. So we can also have this pipe cleaner too with um, more ribbon, more of the pink ribbon and just put it on top. Look how cute. <laughs> I love it. All right, so we'll take so, if you guys want to add, making sure everything is being seen. So we can take our bottom ribbon to make sure that it's going to stick. Make sure it's where you want to, and we can just place some glue on that bottom ribbon so that we'll know that that's just an extra um, um, security that it's going to stick and i definitely would go more under don't do it where you know so you can still maneuver the ends of your loops i would go more underneath and then add a dot dot of glue there okay so it's up to you guys and what you want to do with your tails you can dovetail them you can uh cut them at an angle whatever you want to do it's up to you. And then you'll curl them. If you want them shorter and you already know that you want them shorter, then you can just cut them shorter. You don't have to leave them as long as I left mine, okay? I just love, I've been loving the Sam's ribbon they had. I wanted to get more, but I was like, okay, I need to be good. Because I had so much ribbon left over from the shop. So I was like, uh, you don't need all that ribbon, girl. Alright, so let me show you how beautiful that is. So, so cute. Alright, so if you wanted to... You can go in and then you can add some flowers and stuff to the sides. It's really up to you. You do not have to, but I'm just giving you guys ideas that you can do um, to add some flavor to it. So you can just add flowers to the side. See how that looks? I think that's super cute. Whatever you want to do, it's yours, right? It's yours, so. Add whatever you want to it. I just think that it gives it some added flavor. All right, if you have some greenery, you can add greenery. I have this. I can add that to it. I mean, whatever you want. I'll show you on this side so you guys can see it better. Like that. Just some added greenery. If you have some of that uh, 601, what is it? The real famous <laughs> uh, greenery that everybody loves. Six, 60919, is that what it is? If you have some of that, you can use that as well. So it's up to you and what you want to do. And you don't have to use all of these different ribbons if you want. don't want to. Um, it's just really up to you. I wanted to bring in every color that we have. And you really don't have to put a hanger on here because when you have the hook for, it can stick right underneath here. 
So when you have the hanger, the door hanger, you can just stick it right underneath here, right? But look how cute, I love it, I love it, I love it. So it's up to you and what you wanna add. I do wanna add these flowers here. I wanna put this back on, let me see something. I keep on pulling this off. I don't be meaning to do that. I'm just gonna bend that so that that can't come off anymore. Because that came off so easy. I used all that glue like that. I guess putting that moss in there, I did. I just had added one to it. You say, feed me. There we go. So I just added some glue to it to make sure that it'll it'll stay on there that baby down in there. And you can go in and put some more moss on top of there if you want to. You could put another leaf. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to press the ribbon on there. You see how cute? So you can doll it up as much as you want it to be. Put this down a little. This is yours. So you do it how you want it to be, okay? I'm just giving you some insight. You guys take the insight that I give you and you make it your own. All right. You do not have to do it exactly like I'm doing mine because we may not have the same taste. When, when I'm learning something, that's how I do. I take what I'm given, use what I can from it, and go from there. So I'm going to put some more glue, and this is going to be where I glue the piece of the bottom ribbon down on top, okay? I usually don't use satin ribbon. I bought this for um, the baby shower lace, but it's okay. All right. What you think, what you think? All right, so now I'm going to pause the camera. I'm going to go grab something to put up here in her little hair, and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, so let's make a bow because I have this pink that's kind of in this glitter here. So we're going to make a bow for her hair. Make her curl. All right, so I'm just take it here. Going to pinch it. Pinch it. Just gonna twist it. Mm 
So I'm just taking that um, the first part of it and um, of the tail and moving it back to the back, okay? And so we can either you can take a pipe cleaner or if you have a small little zip tie. I have these little four inch zip ties. You can use those. I wouldn't use a larger zip tie on this um, small bow. This will give you a better hold. Um, so I'm just making sure that this one stays in the back. Before I pull it tight, I'm just grabbing here. I'm going to pull up, make sure that it's the same size, make sure that my zip tie is in the middle, and then just pull. Okay, pretty simple. So I did put some glue underneath the bow, so that's why this is sitting here to hold it to make sure that um, it's it uh, has some weight on it to stay, okay? So you can make your bow as big or as tiny as you want. I have these cute little flowers. These are from um, the wreath shop. And I'm just going to take it here and I'm just going to decorate the center of the bow also to hide um, the zip tie. I'm just taking little, little pieces of the flower and just gluing it down. I'm gonna go right here on the top too and add another one. I'm trying not to burn my oven. Uh... <laughs> there we go. Now you just have a cute little bow. All right. Then we're going to leave some, maybe about an inch on the sides, and we're going to dovetail. If we need to cut it down, that's fine. I, like I always tell you, I'd rather you make it uh, larger than you need than not large enough, okay? <laughs> so I can always go in and cut these down if I want to, okay? So I'm just going to take some glue Put it on our ear. Yeah. I'm going some of that flower to her ear too. So if you don't like how long these are, you can cut them down. And you're just going to hold this here and make sure it adheres. All right, and I'll be back. All right, guys, so I wanted to show you that one of the things that you can kind of do to not keep smushing your ribbon is just to take all of them up. Just make sure, like I always teach you, um, take your fingers alongside the wire so that um, you'll make sure that everything looks delicious. <laughs> all right, and then you're just going to take it in your hand and then just take them and move them up. So that kind of keeps them out of the way some, you know, and then when you get ready to take your pictures and stuff, then you can pull them out and uh, pull them down and take your pictures. So let's add one finishing touch. Let's bring some of this orange into here and we're just going to put a little carrot into her hand and that is going to be our last finishing touch, okay? So I'm just going to, I need to get my, 
I'm gonna put it here and put some glue. I'm gonna put some right here on her belly. All right. So I'm giving it two points to where I'm making sure that a little bit of her hand, if you guys can see, a little bit of her hand is still sticking out right here. All right, and then I am just placing it here on her belly that came up a little bit. All right, guys, so here is the finished product. Look how super cute. Look how good that moss looks in there, the flowers and everything. She turned out so, so cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to push that notification bell. I will put down in the description where I got all of these beautiful supplies to make this wreath. All right? So make sure y'all push that notification bell because we have some awesome things coming your way. All right, guys. Until next time. Bye, guys.